Hi friends. Let us find out the 5 most important pros and cons of the container homes. Container homes are exactly what they sound like, homes made from the steel shipping containers that you see carrying goods everywhere on trains, trucks, and ships. From these giant Lego blocks, people are building homes of all shapes and sizes. The smallest container makes a tiny box of a home at about 100 square feet of floor space. Eight larger containers together can make a two-story house at about 1,400 square feet. Hundreds of container micro-apartments together can make a huge apartment building. Before moving to its pros and cons, please subscribe this channel to get notification for more interesting videos like this. Container homes have a lot of great qualities, but they certainly aren't for every person and every situation. Let's begin by talking about some of the specific qualities of shipping container that you may find advantageous. 1. Sustainable. When people think of being green, eco-friendly, or sustainable, one word usually pops in their minds, recycling. But recycle is actually the last step in the hierarchy of waste management as expressed in the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Shipping container construction is a great example of reusing a material or product. It introduces a second useful life cycle for used shipping containers that are no longer suitable for their intended purpose of carrying goods. 2. Affordable. While not always cheaper than more traditional types of construction, many people do find that building with containers does save them money. This can be caused by a combination of factors such as design choices, overall size, and amount of DIY labor. 3. Strong. Given that they are made of steel and designed for long journeys across the open ocean, it's no secret that containers are built to be extremely strong. Their ability to withstand wear and tear, handle extreme loads, and last for decades also means that cargo containers have related benefits when used for construction. 4. Speed of construction. Building a housing structure out of a shipping container takes roughly 2 to 3 weeks in comparison to brick and mortar structure which takes around 4 to 6 months to make. Most structures can be assembled within a day or so, if all the pieces have been cut off site which is in equivalence to prefabricated structures. 5. Off site construction. Separate but related to the unique options of container design is their inherent flexibility. Container homes can be built off-site and then delivered to your land ready to move into. Sometimes a plot of land isn't suitable to build on. In this case, one can get the shipping container home made at a local workshop and then the finished product can be delivered to the plot of land. We have seen the pros, now let us find out the 5 common objections about using containers for construction. 1 room widths. While shipping containers come in a variety of lengths and several heights, they basically only come in one width. With the exception of 53-foot containers available in the United States, virtually all shipping containers are 8 feet wide. After taking into account the interior walls and insulation that are usually added, you end up with an interior room width just a bit over 7 feet. 2. Insulation of heat. Shipping containers are large steel boxes meaning that they absorb and transmit heat and cold very well. This leads to the problem of controlling the temperature inside. This can be solved by using the correct type of insulation and paint although it can also lead to non-environmentally friendly solutions like energy consuming air conditioners. 3. Utility Spaces Even when using high cube shipping containers, there really isn't enough clearance to run ducting in the ceiling while maintaining enough roof for insulation, light fixtures, etc. The problem is only worsened when you use regular height containers. 4. Building Code Confusion Shipping containers are confusing to some building officials. Even if you know the rules, they differ depending on where you are and if the container home was built on-site or off-site. Arguably a bigger problem is code interpretation. 5. Health Hazards Shipping containers are not intended for human habitation and are thus made using non-human friendly elements like chromate, phosphorus, 
and lead-based paints used on the walls, arsenic, and chromium used sometimes to infuse the wooden floors of the container in order to deter pest infestation. You have to ensure your contractor is dealing with these hazards before constructing your building with a container. However, just like with traditional home building, one should make sure they have the right amount of information before building out of a shipping container.